everybody, we're back, and it's time for more British snacks, which we're very excited about now. You may be a little bit curious why this is number 14. We skipped 13 for good luck. I'm not really that superstitious, are you? Wait, what? So this is really our 13th episode of Trying British Snacks, but I'm numbering it 14 because wow. 13 is a bad luck number. Thought 13 is a lucky number. No, 13 is an unlucky number. That's why Friday the 13th is considered oh. an unlucky day. Okay. This kid doesn't know anything. So, I'm just saying. So, but you're not really superstitious, are you? Or are you? No, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. So, so this is the group for this week. Those we'll do the next time. Okay. So, yeah. which one of these would you like to start with? I'm gonna get up and. He's the, gonna get up and he's gonna go over there. Wait, this group? Leave, yeah, that group. Anything from that group. I wanna try this. Okay. Let's go. What do we got? West Country Cherry Chocolate Biscuit. And who are these made by? Furnace. Furnace. And it says, a taste of the of West, West Country. Country. Hmm. It doesn't look that good because they have like all this that is like, I don't think you would put that on a food product. <laughs> because it's a bunch of pictures of baskets lying in the dirt. Yeah, with like dirty ropes and dirty, I don't know. Dirty ropes, ladies and gentlemen. A taste of the West Country, apparently. But hopefully it doesn't apparently. taste like now, dirty ropes. We've got a, a sort of unusual mix of items today, and this is partially motivated by expiration dates. <laughs> I think these actually have an expiration date of a couple months ago. But they're, they're going to be fine. Trust me, they're sealed in a plastic thing. I'm probably going to die. We'll see. All right. What do you mean you so think? I'm not deaf. Up. I can hear you. You smell good. Let's see. Mm. I'll be the judge of that. They do smell good. Ooh, I can actually really smell the cherry. Yeah. You smell that? Yeah. Is that that with the these are reds? These are thick cookies, too. These are, I'm Ooh. sorry, biscuits. These are not, uh... Oh, yeah. These are not oh. so cherry chocolate mm, biscuits. Yeah. So, are there... Are there chunks of both chocolate and cherry? I think so. <coughs> I gotta edit that out. Choking. Wow. Okay. Let's take a bite. Um. So, interesting. Oh, weird. They're, uh, I would say, more crunchy than they are crispy. This is a more dry cookie than I think a lot of the ones. A little more dry and less buttery, I think, than a lot of the other biscuits that we've tried, right? Yeah. It's a little, I don't like the cookie, it's, or I don't like the, how it like feel. Like it's like crunchy but soft, it's weird. The texture and consistency you're not a fan of. Maybe it's a stale, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think they're stale. I mean, I think they're still fine. They probably taste the way they're intended to taste. Yeah. Even though they're a little past their date. I mean, the date on here was, oh, actually just a few days ago. So they're not really expired. I'm sure they're totally fine. But um, I like the mix of the cherry and the chocolate. The biscuit itself, yeah, is the part that I think I'm the least crazy about. But the real question is, do you think these taste like the West Country? Or do they taste more like the East Midlands? He has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> um. <laughs> There's a little map on here. See? So they're from down there somewhere. Mm. I don't know what either of those things are supposed to taste like, but these are okay. I know what it is, yeah. but like I don't know how it would taste like that, but I think yeah. it would be good with milk. Mm hmm. I, I kind of want to try one with milk. You want to try one with half? milk? Half? You half? Yeah. Mm. All right, go get some milk. Stand by. All right, so he's got a glass milk. of milk now. Now, I will say on here, and where it tells the story of Furnace, it talks about how in the late 1880s, a master baker named John Cooper Furnace was making his celebrated fairings, delicious gingerbreads, and other high-class confectionery. Today, the company he founded closely follows some of the original recipes. What, did they just give up on the other recipes? That's kind of funny. And producing traditional biscuits, and it does say this is delicious with tea or coffee. We're going to insert milk into that sentence. But unless perfect, it's bad with milk. Unless no. it's bad. And perfect with fruit or ice cream, according to the furnace people. Okay, so break this bad boy in half. You take that half, I'll take this half. And let's see if it's better dipped in milk. It's not better. No. 
Well, it's not bad, but it doesn't no. soak it in. Until it crumbles all over. Yeah, the milk didn't really make it that much better, did it? I don't think. No. I don't know. For me, these are just okay. What do you think? What would you give this? I'd give it maybe a... I think I would just give it a five. It was just kind of average for me. A seven and a half. What? Mm -hmm. You were the one who was complaining about it before. Now it's you're good. giving it a seven and a half? With milk. Oh, with milk. What about without milk? Five. Ooh, so we had the same on that one. Oh, gosh, you have milk on your hands. Just sprayed me in the eye. <laughs> okay. This kid, let me tell you. All right, for our next snack, we're going to try natural and delicious brown bag crisps oak smoked chili. That sounds good. These are proper British hand-cooked potato crisps. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the return of my cringeworthy faux British accent. Yeah. All right, so opening the bag. <gasps> chips, Take chips, a chips. Smell pretty good. Oh, yeah. They look pretty good. Ooh, these look like they're kettle cooked. They've got Yay. a nice, is that, would you consider that a reddish hue? Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow. That's good. Holy cow, these are fabulous. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Wait, what flavor is this? Oak smoked chili. Um, that's why it tastes like your chili. Right it does taste like my chili a little bit. Um, these are very, very delicious. Now again, you got to tell us if this this brand, Brown Bag Crisps, if this is really popular by you, if you've never heard of them, if you love them, if they're your favorite, tell us in the comments because you know some of these other brands are very ubiquitous, obviously, like Walkers. Um, but some a couple of these other brands. And are, probably I probably like the. Uh the furnish ones, do you think those are popular? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let us know. So there's there's such an absolutely wonderful amount of flavor and heat in these chips, crisps. It's there it's not too heavy, but it's extremely flavorful and and really has that kind of almost umami sensation that really makes your mouth water and want more of these, don't you think? It's really good. And there's a, just this lovely amount of warmth that you get from the chili in here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Man, these are tasty. Um, I'm having one more. Uh, uh, I need water. <laughs> Bye again. And just such a terrific amount of crunch. Oh my gosh. These are so close to perfect in terms of a potato crisp in general, in terms of the. What? <laughs> in terms of the uh, the crunchiness of them, the amount of flavor is really great. I'm assuming he has some opinions on this, but we'll have to wait until he gets back so that you can hear them. All right, you got yourself some water? Yeah, that was In a glow-in-the-dark Disney cup, yeah. which is pretty cool. Those All right, were so super duper good. They were, in fact, super duper good. And I'm going to give those a 10. Let me give them, not a 10, but a nine and a half. Yeah, they're, oh, they're, they're, they're oh, pretty great. Oh, I, I, uh, I could eat a whole bag of those myself if I was a complete uh, pig, which I have been known to be in the past. So, um, yeah, those are excellent. I think it's going to be a little hard for anything else to beat those out in this video. i got to be honest with you. Okay, what do you want to do next? This or this? This. Bigger or smaller? Um, smaller. Smaller? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited about this. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, we have uh... Kit Kat. Honeycomb flavor. <laughs> what? Never seen this in the it U.S. Looks like of it's course. Old. It's like not, it looks like it. Well, it came in a bigger pack, so the the wrapper is not very retail-y, so to speak. This is not something that you would see on a shelf in a store because it's like an outside yeah, pack. Looks weird. So, so there were I think oh. six or eight of these two, you know, two double bars oh, wrapped in there. Me. All right, one for you, one for me. Does it look different? It says, hashtag my break on it. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It does. It says, hashtag my break. All right. Yeah. Ready? Mmm. That's really good. It is really good, but it's a lot more subtle than I was expecting. There's, 
the the uh, honeycomb is not really super pronounced like it is in some of the other honeycomb things we've had. Yeah. Mm. So everybody knows what a Kit Kat is like. You got your milk chocolate surrounding your wafers, but there's an extra little flavor of honeycomb in here. It is really, really subtle. It's really good. It's it's very tasty. I just wish personally for me, because I love honeycomb so much, that the honeycomb flavor was strong. I don't want to try honeycomb, just honeycomb. Well, we can make some. Somebody told us how to make some in the comments of one of our previous videos, so maybe we'll try that one of these days. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's good. And and I do think, you know, we, we need to do a comparison of a Kit Kat from the UK to one from here and see how different they taste. Because yeah. I wonder how different the chocolate is. I feel like this chocolate is a little bit smoother and creamier than what you would get in a Kit Kat here in this country, but I'm not really sure. But again, um, I like the honeycomb flavor. I just wish it was more pronounced. It was a little too subtle for me. Mm, I liked it. I, I liked it too. I just wish there was more of that that aspect of it. I, I feel like you wouldn't say that because you don't like sweetness. No, I do. I do like honeycomb though because it's got that kind of burnt taste, and I love that mm. quality of it. So, all right, what would you give that? Like a nine. A nine? Yeah. Wow. Uh, for me, I think I would only go seven and a half on that because to me, it wasn't. It was. Better than a regular Kit Kat, but not off the charts amazing for me. All right, so let's next go to... Sensations! Another, we have another Walker Sensations here. The last one of these that we tried was really excellent. This is the Street Mix inspired by Bangkok. I so think they're going to taste all the same. I don't you think so? know how they would make it different. They look the same. Well, different spices and flavors. So this is sweet chili crackers, coconut flakes. <gasps> coconut, coconut flakes. Coconut flakes. Creamy cashews. Creamy cashews? That's weird. Uh, Thai lime flavor green snaps. All of that sounds pretty, pretty fantastic to me. Lou. Louie. <laughs> uh. All right. <laughs> I'm not getting a huge uh. amount of aroma from that, are you? Like, sounds all right, just grab a little handful. Start I'm just going to eat. I don't want to get out. my hand all disgusting. He has a big problem with getting his hand dirty. It's so funny. All right, so I've got a mixture of things hey, here. Hey, I have one. Well, that's your problem, boy. All right, the, 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 what mm. I just had is a, um. Oh, that's good. The, uh, the carrot looking orange one, and it's oh called Sweet Chili Crackers. It's really spicy. It's not really, but it, it is what, spicy. What, what color is this? Is this green? Yeah. The green ones. What does it say these are on the back? These are... Crispy green snaps with a tang of lime. Oh and I'm going to have a coconut. The coconut flakes are good. Yeah. The cashews are just cashews, and I definitely would not describe them as creamy. I don't know where they came up with that one. Mmm. But the green ones? My favorite is actually, let me try oh the cashew. Yeah. Mm. Now, let me check the date on this one. Yeah, so these are like uh, three months expired, so they're probably not quite as crispy <laughs> as they as they should be, but they're still nice and crunchy and crispy. Um, well, um, I didn't get. Will you get me um the yellow? Not these. The oh, I thought there was another one. No. What is this one called? Um, you say they look like a carrot. Sweet. No, I, I carrot color. Oh, carrot color. Unless I said carrot, but I don't know. Yeah, so these, the, the orange ones are good. There's a little bit of heat to them, and they're also kind of sweet. So my favorite is the sweet chili crackers, which are the orange puff-looking things. These guys. And then, my fi and then my other favorite is crispy green snaps and lime ones, and they're like, they're, they're green and they're... Those green ones are my absolute favorite. Yeah. These things are so good. I'm gonna have a few more. And they're spicy too, right? The coconut doesn't taste like anything. No, in fact, it doesn't even have that much coconut flavor. And it literally tastes like nothing. Yeah, and, and what's interesting is we there's a snack um, by a company called Dang uh, that, we, the best coconut. that we buy sometimes, and they're, they're just toasted coconut chips, you know, flakes, kind of like these. 
and uh, they just have a little bit of sea salt on them, I think. And they are really excellent. So it's a little disappointing that there's not a lot of flavor to the coconut flakes in here. I'm gonna try another one. You know, it might be two. I like yeah, they nothing. really they really don't have much flavor. But I'm wondering if that's because the flavor of the little crackery bits in here, the green and the orange ones, there's so much spice on them that maybe we're just not able to really I would I would put the dang ones in here and not these ones. Mm -hmm. but. That'd be really good. But in general, I think this is another excellent street mix by Made by Walker. Walker Sensations, yeah. So what would you give this? I would give this um an eight and a half. I'm gonna say the exact Actually, same thing. Oh, oh, am I? But like, I feel like these are better than those chips. What? Yeah. He's crazy. So, You're officially crazy. No, I don't know. You just I'm don't want to do a dance. With... You don't want to do a dance because you know you give the other ones a nine and a half. And I know. Like... <laughs> don't be afraid of the dance. Nope. All right. Nope. I did one last episode. All right. I'm giving these an eight and a half. You can go nine and a half. Nine and a half. You're in the clear with nine and a half. But sometimes I might actually have to give it a ten if it's. You a might ten. have to. Okay. Oh. This last one. Oh. Now again, this is one that you'll have to tell us if this is something you've ever even heard of. This is by a company called Mallow and Marsh, and this is a salted caramel marshmallow bar. So I have noticed lately in the grocery stores here that we're starting to see more marshmallow snack foods. Okay. Did you see that we had one in the pantry that I got the other day? No, but I, I don't know where you get these things from, but there's these things called coconut bars and it's like, not bar, but it's like, it's like a coconut. Are you ta like, talking about the thing you had the other day? Yeah. What? There's no marshmallow in that. No, I'm saying, but like... Yeah, that was, that came in a gift box that we got for Christmas. Oh, that was insane. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad and I'm happy that you insane. enjoyed it, but that has nothing to do with this video or food from the UK. So let's stay on topic, shall we? Oh, it tasted like something from there. Okay, so um, so again, this is a, a like it's a marshmallow bar. How'd they come up with that name, Mallow and Marsh? It's very mysterious. However, um, but I am seeing more and more of these kind of things in stores even here too. And I bought one the other day, but let's see. So this is one, the whole package is just one big marshmallow <laughs> marshmallow bar. Wait, you bought one of these? No, no, no. I bought a, a marshmallow snack that I saw in a store here. It feels uh, like there's something inside uh, of it. Careful, hmm. it might be some Oh, it looks like dough. It does look like dough. It's and there's dough something lumpy in the middle of it. I don't know what that is. I don't have anything lumpy. It smells excellent. It smells like, like an dough. exact combination of marshmallow and caramel, doesn't it? Mmm. It's really good. You didn't have a lumpy part in there? Like a little. Yeah, I had a little one in mine too. Um, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's it's a marshmallow, it's um, good. which I'm sure you love because you love marshmallows. I would say it's slightly less sweet than a typical marshmallow we would find here, and I I, I like the addition of the salted caramel flavor because it's a little bit more interesting than just a regular marshmallow that just tastes like sugar, basically. Yeah. What did you think? That was really good. Yeah. You're a big marshmallow fan, though, from way back. I think, like, every marshmallow thing we have, we had in these episodes, I've given it probably an eight or higher. I think probably. you're right. Remember the wagon wheels? Oh, yeah. I remember the, yeah. the egg thing. Yeah, the egg thing. And uh, the uh, the marshmallow whip. Yeah. With the walnut on top. I really like that one. That was, I think that might have been my favorite oh, marshmallow Oh, that's what I'm talking about, the oh. egg. Oh, okay. Like that. Um, all right, so for me that was fine. Um, I, I just don't. I, it's hard for me to get that excited about marshmallows because it's just a big mushy thing of sweet in your mouth, I liked it. which he, which he likes a lot. All right, what would you give it? An um, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Uh, I think for me I would go uh, six and a half. It's above average as far as marshmallows go, but it's just still just a marshmallow. So, all right, um, I think that's it for this one uh, for episode. Have another 14. bite. Have another bite. No, because we're going to make another video in a little bit. <laughs>
Plus, you haven't eat, actually eaten breakfast. Okay. Parent of the year, right here. Okay, so, um, okay, so now it's time to reveal our favorites for the episode. What was your favorite, young man? Mine was the sensations, because these are just, like, they're, I don't know, they're just so good. Despite but, the yeah. lack of flavor in the coconut chips. And the boring, whatever this is. The boring what? The boring... Creamy oh, the cashew. creamy cashews, which are not creamy. I don't know where they came up with that. You know what? I, I just had a bunch of the coconut chips together, and they were very coconutty altogether, but strangely lacking flavor on their own. Okay, for me, my favorite was undoubtedly the brown bag crisps oak smoked chili. These are some of the best crisps that I've had in a long time. Mmm, so good. If you've never tried these, I highly recommend them. And I would even say mm. that these are a lot better than many of the other chili flavored crisps that I've tried from other brands as well. Yeah. Really Because, um, I don't know what the other brands call it. It's like the one, the, what is it called? The other brand of chips we get a lot. Pringles? No, it's, no, like from there. Walkers? Those. Oh, Mackey's? Yeah. They don't have the best flavors, but yeah. that one does. Yeah, the, the flavor of this is just so excellent. There's just this, I, I, again, it's this warmth to the flavor that is makes me crazy in a good way. That's it for this time. Thanks, as always, for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the little bell down there so that you get notified when we make more of these. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.